Welcome to an introduction to the solderless breadboard. The solderless breadboard is used for temporary circuit construction. The electrical connection between components is provided by an internal arrangement of electrical pathways. The breadboard can be divided into three distinct sections. Power terminals, power bus, and adjoining connection points. The power bus is used to distribute a voltage or ground throughout the breadboard. The bus is divided into two rows of holes. Each row is further divided into two groups of 25 holes. The 25 holes share an internal electrical connection. Any jumper wires inserted into any of the 25 holes will share the same electrical connection. The rows consist of groups of five holes. The five holes share the same electrical connection. Shown here is a column of five internally connected holes. The channel that divides the two groups of holes is designed to accommodate a dual inline package style chip. Here, the dual inline package style chip is shown plugged into the breadboard. Jumpers are used to bring the power and ground to the integrated circuit. Notice the jumpers connecting the top and bottom rows of buses. This will give you additional access points for power and ground. The power connectors are spaced so that they accept a dual banana jack. Power and ground are connected to the solderless breadboard through these connectors. The two red connectors can be used to bring both a positive VCC and a negative VCC onto the board. Proper setup and layout of your solderless breadboard will turn it into a tool rather than a task of your lab. If you are unsure of the layout, use an ohm meter to measure the resistance between the holes. This completes this learning object, an introduction to the solderless breadboard.